Hello everyone, my name is Abelix, and today I am starting Life is Strange True Colors. I have never played any of the Life is Strange games, so this will be interesting. Something new. Maybe I should have started with regular Life is Strange? I don't think they're connected. It's a story-based game that features player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences for Alex. What is every game I play of an Alex? So, Alex, the day's Hi. finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? That bad? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Am I a psycho? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. I have issues. I'm a psychopath. Now, if I remember right, I think she can see people's auras. She's a superhero. It's pretty. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. This bridge? Where is he? Must be the other side. Yep, I figured that out. Pretty much the same controls as any other game. Such a pretty bridge. Man. It's a pretty town. I'd like to live there. I'm a phoenix in the water A fish that's learned to fly And I've always been a daughter Feathers are meant for the sky So I'm wishing, wishing further For the excitement to arrive be a nice it's place to live I'd rather be causing the chaos And laying at the sharp end A lot of bees though this night. With every small disaster I'll let the water steer Take me away to some place real they say home is where your heart is set in stone is where you go when you're alone Is where you go to rest your bones And it's not just where you lay your head It's not just where you make your bed As long as we're together does it matter where we go That's lovely. Alex! Oh 
Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Mm -hmm. I'm cool with the hug if you are. Yeah. <laughs> Crushing my ribs is still part of the protocol. <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. <sighs> yep, she can see auras. So that's she a good aura. Her up. I missed it. She can read minds? I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time Ooh. will do that to you. Interesting. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Mm -hmm. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, Haven Springs, that's what it is. It is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. He doesn't even know me. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. <laughs> yeah, like no you. shit. <laughs> oh man, that Welcome town. To that can't be real. Look that up. That's real. I want to go there one day. It is. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> so so reviews. Hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? Be honest. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. Why do you need to say sorry? What do you think? I like Lily's better. Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am. Mm -hmm. And that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Huh? Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tap? Yeah. 
Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The tiny house movement is really taking off. Oh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. This gnome has been places. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it actually does look pretty cool with the glasses on. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? <laughs> I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> These gnome jokes. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Yikes. How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. <laughs> the perfect flower bed. The lady standing there with a shovel. Looks like she's about to bury her husband. Wait, I should clarify. Her husband she just killed. Sorry. Should have went deeper into that. All those books about killing your husband. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. Oh. I'm sure it's fine. That's fine. Wait, who dis? Who dis? Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? Wait. No, but they were like family. Hold LT to what? Alistair and Ava Murphy. Oh. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. What if I don't get in? Same thing, okay. Shit, what if I do get in? So I can read minds. Am I really ready to leave this place? I'm gonna become a super criminal. In this nice little town. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. What am I supposed to do? I'm sure it's fine. I, I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. What? Can I read his mind now? Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? I would. And I'd break it. Can I just leave? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Ry. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm. About three years now. I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. Mm. She's worth it. Yeah. Spring Reeve. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Oh, can I read his mind right now? Well, here we are. No, okay. The silver dragon is where we are. Now can I read your mind? Yep. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. Step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. <laughs> Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Ah, speak. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really.
It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. Hi, yeah. Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <laughs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Vanishing, my kind of power. I prefer the fire ring. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand. Burn all my enemies to a crisp. What <laughs> if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> I don't have friends. That's how you solve that. If you like comics, I can... show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. Oh, right now. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. Legendary this is Monster awesome, Slayer Ethan. Thanor. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. Don't go in a mine, mean, kid. I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man. I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. I'm about myself a record. Treasures of Tibet. That's the bar I'm gonna work at, isn't it? I think they were talking about that. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. With what money? No way. Mm -hmm. Did we just become best friends? Know either of those if they're real or not, but zombie parade. Citizens just of cooler. Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Mm -hmm. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Um, 
Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? It's cool. It's a nice little town. I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep. It's our cultural landmark, for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah. Well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Mm. Wow, that's... Different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, Palmer, the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. Mm -hmm. Could be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Fine. Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Can I reach the Stuff your stuff all over the place. Can I reach your mind? Oh, I got a text message. World's okayest boyfriend. Go. You were right. Re lilies. Feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. On what? Uh. Oh, man, this is too much. I'm overwhelmed. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? <laughs> Drinking bird. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Mm hmm. True. What does that say? Steph, touch and die. I know touch. I know touch. Okay, so where would it be? I think it's gotta be in the radio booth, right? Wait, can I read her mind when she's in there? Cat bull. Read your mind. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Don't get me wrong, Steph's great, but... She can be kind of a mess. Dude, you're not even helping. You're just standing there. You expect me to do all the work? Just like a man. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie path. Okay. Uh, seriously, color me impressed. Hmm. Did you file it somewhere? Hi! Wait. Is that the hold list? Gah. Gah! Ah! <laughs> Shit. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. <coughs> Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. You could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. 
You can't just take the gap bowl and move it. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Abe listens to these days? Um. <laughs> I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Yeah, this is the middle box. It's like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm -hmm. mm, nothing. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to? while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. This Hollywood. Alas, no toy. Oh, the junk box. Maybe yeah. in the junk box. Yeah. Oh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. <laughs> should have known. Wait, I didn't look at it. She should know, though. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. Kings you of gotta Leon. tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. <laughs> All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. It's a bad Come aura. On. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude. I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh. 
No bird calls, though. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Interesting. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Talking about birds. You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. What you anyway, do? My shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. All right, so with that, I'm going to pause as soon as this is over, and I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you, anyone who's watched this far. I hope you're enjoying it. It's interesting. It's just a bunch of cutscenes so far, which I think that's what this whole game is, really. It's just a bunch of cutscenes, but it's interesting. It's building into something. I, check I can in. read minds. Do you mind? Oh, well. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.